what's going on guys in today's video i want to show you how to expand your area go into towns and cities where you couldn't be found before 15 20 miles away and get new customers new clients new leads watch this Hey, I dedicate this video to my friend from Rattel SEO, the late, great Darren Marion. I love you, brother. All right, guys, so I'm really excited to talk to you today about expanding your area and getting new leads. You know, when you get new leads, you increase your income, you could do better things for your family. And right, that's what this is all about. It's about is about making more money this nobody's nobody's watching my videos for extra beer money right we're looking to put our kids through school help our parents out uh we're, we're here for a reason so i make these videos so you could help yourself right that's the reason why i make these videos so you could help yourself if you have some extra time just implement these things that i say but first you have to understand the foundation right you have to understand the foundation and that's what I'm kind of going to go over with you first. In order to be found in a certain area, a neighborhood, a city, a town, somewhere around 5, 10, 15 miles away, you need to have a page on your website that says you service that town. And I'll let that sink in for a second because I spoke with a young lady yesterday that I explained that to and, and she may have asked me two or three times, what exactly do I mean by that? Hey guys, if you could like and subscribe, that really helps the channel get out there. It goes into the uh, YouTube algorithm and it helps more people like yourself uh, get the information that you're looking for. Now, like and subscribe is, is two good signals, but the most important signal is watching to the end. So if you can watch to the end, uh, please, that helps the channel out. Thank you very much. What I mean by that is you need a page on your website saying that you do business in that area. All right, I think, I think everyone with reasonable intelligence could look to see what I'm showing you right here in this red box, this red outline box. You need to have a page on each area to show, to show what you've done in that area. So Google recognizes you for that area. However, that's not enough to rank. If you just put pages on your website, I guarantee you won't rank. It'll help a little bit, but it's only part one of three. Part two of three is going to your Google business profile and, and clicking each section. I'm using my profile as an example. And what you want to do in the description is, is um, add the services that you offer, and you also want to add the areas that you work. Okay, so if I was rewriting my, uh, my description, that's what I would write. The services that I offer and the areas that I, that I do business in. And what I would do is I would go to each one of these links and see where I could in, in, inject what I do and where I do it. If I'm a plumber, I need to put all the services that I offer and where I offer those services. That's the only thing that you need to have on your mind. Now, the third part, right? I call it the triangle method. You need to have it on your website. You need to have it in your Google business profile. And then the last thing you need to do is you need to have reviews. You need to have reviews, two things. You need to have somebody standing in this location in Largo, Florida, in this red section, saying that you're a plumber. Right? If they just give you a review saying your service is great, I highly recommend them. They haven't said anything. Their review may even stick because they're very active on Google. They're making comments on YouTube. 
They're, they're doing searches, they're writing emails, they're very active. So their review may stick even though their review was nonsense. It didn't say anything. You need to, I'm not allowed to use the word coach. So, so, so take the word coach out and inject it with something else. Instruct, <laughs> influence, right? The people you do business aren't brain scientists, right? They don't know what to write. I don't expect somebody that I just did a drain for or I, or I, I did an electrical job for to be able to write me a beautiful 250-word uh, review, which mentions my business name, the service I provided. I was cheap. I was, I was affordable, uh, professional, on time, right? All those things should be added in. So I would give my client a, a, a an outline, so to speak, say, these are the, you know, if you could just put it like on a, on a piece of paper, these, this is what I need you to say. Use these words, right? Put them in your own words, but I need you to mention, the, mention this, mention this area, mention the service technician, mention our company, and put it into a, uh, you know, a little, a little uh, review, right? The people have to be standing in this area when they make the review. Now, is it okay to be slightly outside the area? Yes. However, if I was making a review and I was outside the area, I would be talking about the Log Lago Cultural Park Nature Preserve. So I would be talking about something within there and somehow related to plumbing. So, for example, I would say something like, uh, you know, my, my house is located uh, two blocks south of the Lago Central Park Nature Preserve, and uh, I called ABC Electric, and they were affordable and professional. Uh, Dave came down and diagnosed the problem, you know, and within two hours, my sink was uh, unclogged, right? That's the keyword we're going, we're going for. I needed a 24-7 emergency plumber, right? That's another keyword, because you gave me a piece of paper, and I used all those keywords. Uh, I used everything in my review, and everybody's review will be different because they're all using their own words. And some people say, I don't know what to write. And they, they, then you write it for them and they, I'm not supposed to say that. I do these videos and I don't even realize what I'm saying. Sometimes I'm like, uh, write the reviews for the people. But, you know, listen, it's the truth. You, you got to help people. They don't know how to write, and, but you need a review for them. Reviews are really important, guys. So let's, let's recap this. It's just something that I want you to understand. If you want to rank in a specific area, the first thing you need to do, well, the first thing you need to do is you need to get local Falcon, and you need to see if you're ranking in that area already. It's really the only way to start your SEO campaign. I, I've uh, said in the past, local Falcon is like, is like going to the emergency room with a broken arm and them not doing an x-ray and trying to figure out what part of your arm is broken, right? So what Local Falcon does, it shows you where you're ranking and where you're not ranking. And where you're not ranking, you need to get signals from that area. What signals do you need to get from that area? Do you need pages on your website about that area? You need to add that area and the services that you provide in your Google Business Profile and you need to get reviews from people in that area saying that they that you provided those service services for them. Three things. Triangle. Website, Google Business Profile, reviews. In all three, they have to say the area and the service that was provided. Did that help? I really, really hope that helped. Guys, if you're doing your own SEO or if you have an agency doing, I don't care if I'm doing your SEO, you should have a program like Local Falcon checking my work, right? So if I'm saying check my work, I mean check everyone's work. Whoever you're working for, whoever's ever working for you, you should check their work. And guys, if you're not receiving a report, a grid report for your local SEO, I suggest that you speak to your developer or your, your SEO person or team about that because it's really important, right?
When I give reports to my clients, the things that I give them are not the backlinks that I build, all the tasks that I did, because I could fill a report with busy work. Very, very simple for me to do. I've been doing this for 25 years, right? I, I, I provide the report with what makes, uh, what's important to the client. What's important to the client? How many people came to the website? How many people called or took action? Those are the things that, that that's important to the client and screenshots of where they're ranking, right? Screenshots, grid reports of where they're ranking so they could see if they're still red, if they've improved since last month, has their phone calls improved since last month. I keep what's called a traffic light system. In my uh, CRM, we use a CRM and, and uh, we track phone calls. That's, the, that's really important to us. We may green you out, for example, a plumber for air conditioning, but it's winter right now. You're not gonna get any calls, right? So what good is a greened out map? It really does nothing for you. You wanna be greened out for heating in the winter time. And I'm sure your industry has different nuances, right? Things that are popular in season or, or different times of the year, okay? So, so um, your SEO company should be providing reports uh, where you could see where your rank, you should be able to see where you're ranking in a grid report, and you should also see uh, how many phone calls you got this month as opposed to last month. Okay. If there's something I could do, I, I put my, my cell number, feel free, reach out to me. You have a question, I'm happy to help you. You're not bothering me. Just shoot me a text, though. That's what I ask. So I have time to prepare an answer for you. Okay? Guys, have a great day. I said in the beginning, I say this in all my videos, we're here to help our families. That's the reason why we're doing this. That's our why. Our why is to be, is to be there, to, is to be uh, financially available to somebody in our family who needs help. We want to be able to say, you know, we can help you, right? That's the reason why we do this. We need to pay our bills, pay our mortgage, help out our family and live a happy life. So those are the type of people that I want to be around. Those are the type of people that I want following me, you know, in our journey to, uh, to you know, to reach our goals. Okay, guys, have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.